This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at Ionti Dahl, and behind me here you see the Tesla Model S Plaid. Uh, today I'm going to do something fun. We're going to put on the wheel caps and we will see how much more efficient is it. So it's supposed to be more efficient, right? Because it makes the wheels more aerodynamic. So um, yeah, right now it looks kind of ugly because uh, there's supposed to be a cover here. I've taken it off, so there you can see. Oh, is that roost? Oh, that is roost. Also on the <laughs> on the brakes. Uh oh, uh oh, I should use the brakes more. But okay, so um, yeah, you see the front. Uh, these are, by the way, the original Tesla rims. It's just that we don't have the wheel caps on. So I can show you, I have them in the trunk. Yeah, here they are. So they are just plastic. And I guess it gives the wheel more aerodynamic properties. Wait, is there like a direction thing here? Um, well, I'm not sure. Are they, uh, they seem to be the same. Same, but different. Yeah, yeah, there's only one shape. Wait, where is it? Let me see. Yeah, they, they seem the same. Wait, does it mean that when they rotate the opposite, they, they must be designed aerodynamically to work on both directions then? Okay, but what we're gonna do first is to uh, do the test without the, the wheel caps, see how it goes. We will do 90 and 120 kilometers per hour, and then we put on the caps. Oh, I can't wait to see the result. So the plan is to drive from here to Strandlicha and back again. Yeah, we just take a long route so we get some, uh, to even out everything. So I guess we should start with the 120 test first. All right, today we have nice weather, sunny, uh, four degrees Celsius. We have to go to 124 to match 120. All right, there's an uh, EQC. Wow, that one is getting old, isn't it? All right, so um, yeah. I, I guess, I, no, I'm not gonna hug the right lane. I'm oh, sorry, the left lane. I'm just doing it now during the video recording. And how's Mioso today? Oh, wind took his hand. Oh, no wind. Well, perfect. All right, we're back at the starting point. So we spent 219 watt hour per kilometer. And then uh, according to Google, the distance is 66 kilometers. Well, you can see here, it's actually 67.0 there. So yeah, I have to calculate the, um, uh, the distance error, but uh, I can show you that uh, it's different than previously because now we fill up uh, more air in the, in the tires. This is actually recommended from Nokian actually to have 10% overinflation. It's supposed to be 2.9 2 uh, according to spec. But uh, yeah, so that's why we have lower uh, distance error. So I'm gonna calculate everything and now we do the 90 test with the, the caps off still. All right, this time we have to cruise at 93 on the speedo and uh, still four degrees Celsius outside. The weather hasn't changed that much except for that there is now a little bit of headwind. So it just started, actually, it started on the way back on the 120 test. So uh, that is actually, um, yeah, it will, it will affect the, the, the result. Okay, you can see here now, now yeah, whoa, whoa, that's kind of strong wind, whoa. Wait, wait where is it blowing? What? But we're supposed to have headwind now. But yeah, I've decided to turn around over there. So we cut down the 90 test, but then the 120 test all goes all the way to Strandlicha. So yeah, this is, uh, should be good enough now. Wow, look at that. Lots of uh, wind now. All right, the result of the 90 test, uh, 173 watt hour per kilometer. Okay, I have to correct for this. It's a little bit higher. Now let's put on the caps. So when you want to put the caps on, you look at this one. This is the the vent for uh, yeah all right you align the, this side first like this and then you just pop it in but you will actually cause a slight scratch every time you pop it in and pop it out again so i wouldn't recommend doing this too often just kind of keep it on like this so now the car looks like this hmm which looks do you like the most caps on or caps off i actually kind of like the caps Okay, this time it's uh, five degrees Celsius. So it's actually slightly better temperature than the previous uh, 120 test, but we have more wind. So uh, I guess it kind of cancels out each other, right? But it's always hard to uh, do a, a proper test uh, and control all the variables when you have uh, like a real world uh, test like this. Whoa, caps on. 
uh, slightly better than the first run, but I think the first one was a bit unfair. Yeah. Well, okay, let's do 90 test then. All right, this time 167 watt hour per kilometer. Okay, this one is better. Huh. But you know, uh, what is the temperature now? Five degrees Celsius. Tonight, it's going to be minus 10 some places. Let's come back tonight and test again. Caps on, caps off. It is now half an hour past midnight. We're back at Dahl, down part two of the test. So um, I had to clean the car, it was kind of dirty. And then I took the wheel caps off again. So now we go with the caps off and then we see, yeah, we have almost no traffic here. All right, first test, we go caps off, 120 kilometers per hour. It's proper cold now, minus eight degrees Celsius. So I figure I don't bother going all the way to Strandlicha. We can just turn around at Mjösa, just like with a 90 test. Yeah, it should be good enough, especially now at, at um, night, we have very, uh, where is it, high beam. Oh, oh yeah, wait, uh, no, okay, whatever. Uh, auto high beam is on, but it's not firing up. Okay, no, but in, see at night I tend to run longer runs in case there are some uh, left lane huggers, so then I can just even it out and go a little bit faster. But at night now we have very uh, consistent runs with no traffic, so we can go a shorter runs. That's the whole idea behind it. Well, we just turn around at Minnesota, and over here it's minus six degrees Celsius. So I'm going to take an average and say minus seven for this run then. All right, round one, 248 watt hour per kilometer. Well, that's as expected when it's cold outside, but without the caps. All right, let's do 90 test then. Um, we had to top up quickly at Ayontina because um, I realized that the rear fans were running. Uh, normally I would have them off, you see. Uh, it's probably because we have the Isofix base here. So the car detects that, oh, there's something behind here. So you have to run there. Yeah, but I can show that. Okay, so when, when the rear fan is running, right? We are then uh, pulling one, you see here, over one kilowatt. And then if I turn off rear fan, look at this. Uh, so actually today also I had the E6 base there. The result today was a little bit higher than I expected. So you might have to discard the, the, the earlier result today and only look at the night run instead. Okay, let's redo then. Hmm, this run is actually colder, minus seven over here. It was minus six just now. Uh, and also I noticed something else. It actually feels colder in the cabin now versus uh, when we had the rear heater on. I mean, it makes sense, right? We get some heat from the back that kind of warms the whole cabin. Now, this is like, you know, in eco mode. So yeah, so just bear that in mind. Actually, huh, I think when I did the 1000 kilometer challenge, I would have better comfort if I uh, had the rear heater on. So I guess that's a trip tip for you who has a Model S uh, Palladium is to, uh, yeah, to just put on the rear heater and you will have way better comfort, but you will spend a little bit more energy, of course. Oh, uh, interesting. Even though it was slightly colder, we spent only 240 watt hour per kilometer now. All right, okay, now we can do the 90 test then. All right, 185 watt hour per kilometer. Over here, it's minus nine degrees Celsius. All right, let's pop the caps. Okay, I see the battery temperature dropped a little bit, so we're going to top up now on Ionity to get it to around 25 degrees Celsius again, just like uh, the starting point on the previous test, to make it as even as possible. Alright, sorry Marcus, we have to break an egg to make omelette. Rip rims. Oh. She. <sighs> all right, caps on 235 versus 240. All right, it's still minus nine degrees Celsius outside. Okay, let's try the 90 test then. Whoa, we are at. Um, Minnesota now and 
I put the camera in really weird setting where I get as much light as possible and also turn up the gain uh, slow shutter and uh, I don't know if you can see there's like a blue green blue band there kind of that is Aurora uh, unfortunately I didn't bring the DSLR but wow look at this there is there is Aurora I, we we almost missed the, the thing the action let's see now at Miosa can we see something here whoa look at that whoa you can actually see a little bit of Aurora wow so far south and you can see Aurora oh okay it's kind of weak but it's just KP3 but still huh that is awesome Wait a second. maybe it's better to see from this side look at that Oh, interesting. Caps on 90 kilometers per hour. It's actually slightly higher than the previous run with caps off. Could be because it's cold outside. Or it could also be because the battery has cooled down. So it seems like this is really hard to test. I guess it would be best to test it in summer uh, when we can turn off HVAC and when I guess battery temperature doesn't matter. We are back home now, so I just put all the results in the result table. And I'm trying to interpret all this. Uh, it could seem like when you have caps on, you have lower consumption than caps off. The only problem today was that we have so many variables out there. We have wind, we have outside temperature, and then we have battery temperature, which affects the, the heat scavenging and all that stuff. So I think the best deal would be to try this in summer, spring instead, and then we might turn off heater to leave out some variables. And then we might see a strong correlation between caps on and caps off. But it could at least seem like uh, this car, the triple motor or the plaid is thirstier than the dual motor, the long range. Yeah. And then how much does the caps help? Well, I think it helps, but just I'm not sure how much. Then, but then it boils down to you guys. Do you like the caps on or do you like the caps off or other rims? For me, I'm not sure. Yeah, but anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.